You know, throughout my time on YouTube, uh, there's been a lot of adversity, but nobody's ever been able to get their facts together, prove anything. I mean, the allegations that are made against me, and, and also there's been allegations made against a lot of other people on here, too. A lot of them are true. <laughs> Some of them are not. But ever since I've been on here, and the amount of envy has been just amazing, really, because I can't figure out what it is. Well, they say I'm broke, and they never see my bank account. Well, you seem to be an expert on uh, garnishments, which you're not, because, as I said in my last show, if it came up yet, on that, you know, provision or Article 459, that applies to people who are uh, going to get child support. They need child support payments, and you didn't pay. You must you pay, you pay spousal support, things like that. Not a shred of things that has ever been talked about um, here, have ever been proven about me. So many people are so willing to try to see me in hot water, but my experience so far has been, you got nothing when you think you got something, and you try to execute something and it fails, because I'm not breaking any laws on here, that's the bottom line. I'm simply not breaking any laws. If I was, you might have something on me, but there really isn't. Certainly anything you can prove, anyway. So, the efforts of the people on the Copycat channel and otherwise have been fruitless. I'm the one that's laughing on this end because, so far to date, it's Frank 1000 and Trolls 0. So, why don't you kind of quit while you're not ahead? You know what I'm saying, guys? Really. And, you know, the latest thing, they're trying to rehash some old hash with this Hawaii shit. That's a done deal. Okay, if you think they can get payments, you think whatever they want. If there's no money in the kitty that they can access to, then they get no money. It's simple as that. I mean, I can make this complicated and go through all the statutes, but I've already researched all that stuff. So, you know, just saying that something's going to happen doesn't mean that's going to happen. Simple as that. I, I think ahead of the game. You know, my accounts are under different names. You know, my partner's name over here and my brother's name in Hawaii. And the only thing I get in Hawaii is Social Security. That's it. And they can't touch that because there are statutes in place with the banking institutions and with the federal law that make allowances for things like Social Security under very much guided circumstances. And again, to repeat that, again, so you understand that, is that, and I like answering these questions because, you know, I like making a fool out of these people that are trying to find fault with me. You have a two-month protection period, again. Now, if you leave money in your account, there is a possibility they could garnish your money. Social Security does not allow anybody to take payments out of your payment unless you owe child support or spousal support. That's, that's a no-brainer on that one. It's a no-brainer on it. Or if you owe federal taxes, that's a no-brainer. But generally, Social Security is protected. Unless you do owe child support and the other things I mentioned. Now, under this program, you are protected for... I'm going to make this clear because the copycat channel who think they're so learned about me and the laws, so far they haven't been. I mean, Barry's in jail, right? He, you know, he, he thought he knew the laws and Ricky thought he knew the laws too, right? But where did that wind up with Barry? He's in jail. And didn't you all say that it was never going to happen? Frank is bullshitting. Barry's never going to get deported or go to jail. Well, you were wrong again, weren't you? You're always wrong. And you hate that. And you just want to win. You want to find a way to just find something on me. Something. But you can't. So, I'll repeat again. You've got a two-month protection period. Two months. If you, The only thing they could do, at worst, if you have money in your account after two months... Okay, they can take something out of that. If you have no money in the account, they can't take anything. Now, if you are saving money in that account, they can take your savings. Absolutely, but they can't take your Social Security, but you got that two-month protection period. See, Copycat didn't want to tell you that part of the formula. So they came up with this thing. Oh, see, yeah, it says in Section 459. Well, if you read on, folks, you want to go read on about the Social Security Act, all that shit, Blah, 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 section 459, bullshit, bullshit, is that no, they can't. 
And no, it doesn't come before it hits your bank account. If you have direct deposit, it will go into your bank account. Once it's in your bank account, they cannot touch it because the bank institutions also have to follow these laws or statutes that were written to protect people on Social Security. Follow me so far? Try. I mean, I know it's hard. That's the last I'm going to say of this. Do you think the tenants really won on this? Think about it. It's on paper. 50, 60, whatever the hell it is. Who cares? I'm not counting. Them getting the money, that's another story. And they're still going to have to pay their lawyers 10 grand. So who's really winning? Their lawyer's going to make a demand payment with them for that $10,000, right? Goes the same. Can't get it off me. They've got to get it off somebody. So they're going to go after the tenants to get that money, correct? All right. So who won, really? Think about it. You guys are idiots, complete idiots.